Hey guys, welcome to another fragrance kind of first impressions with Steven. And today I'm going to be looking at a bunch of vintage bottles that I bought on eBay. I've basically built, uh, bought about 20 bottles here, not realizing they were aftershaves. And foolishly, you know, I kind of paid 60 quid for all this. Altogether, I paid 30 pounds, but I paid 30 pounds for shipping from Latvia. And yeah, I'm a bit disappointed because I didn't realize they weren't sprays. So I have a whole bunch of aftershaves here and <laughs> I'll kind of give my overviews. I haven't really worn many of them, so they are kind of first impressions. I've kind of created myself a whole bunch of test strips here. I'm not going to go into all of them because there's so many. So I'll show you what I have. So, yep, you can see there's a whole bunch of bottles here. And so there's stuff like uh, Davidoff, Relax, Two Cool Waters, there's Zeno. Uh, there's Moods by, by Cruzier, Mashimo is Salvador Dali, uh, there's another Davidoff one actually. Um, it's Gentleman Only by Givenchy, not really sure who this is to be honest, I can't see anything on the bottom. Um, there's Le Lagerfeld, I can't remember who this is, another unknown. I have Roma by Laura Bigotti, or Bigotti. Iceberg, there's Very Valentino, uh, Saruti 1881, Rafa and Polo, or is this Jill Sander, I think? Tabac by uh, Fendi, I think this is. Bogner or something. Uh, Yope and Yope Night Dive, I think it is. Or nightlife. Uh, something else here. <laughs> something else here. Uh, Giacomo and Minotaur or Minotaur. So, yeah, it's, um. Decent here, I think I paid like two pounds mark, about two pounds or three pounds for some of them. Kind of auction style and I believe the sellers always posting stuff on eBay. Like I haven't really been looking for looking for, for um, fragrances online for the past month and a half now, I'm trying to cut back on purchases. So, well, I did notice basically the seller was continuing to sell these, so he's got a big vintage haul somewhere. So they're all aftershaves and I kind of just do a quick overview now of each one. Sorry, not each one, that'll take forever. I'm not sure if they're all in good shape or if they've been spoiled, you know, but yeah. I've tried this cool water as well, which is quite, quite good. It's um, very different to what I know it as now. Uh, much, much stronger. Very, very prominent lavender note. Yeah. Fucking strong lavender note. So, yeah, I might be using too much here, but who knows. Oh. And uh, now I can see what people were saying when they were talking about Wings for Men by Jojo Beverly Hills being similar to Cool Water. It's a very, very strong lavender vibe that's coming off here. It's certainly a very good freshness. Um, you get that kind of... The water association, you know, the aquatic notes are playing playing very good here. And yeah, this is actually bloody lovely. Um, also, yeah, just on a side note, I probably should have said this at the start, but... My channel's reached 50 subscribers, which I'm very happy about, and because I didn't really want to buy aftershaves, um, I'm going to basically give away three bottles of this, or, nah, fuck it, give away um, five bottles of these. Excuse me. So, what I want you to do to, to a surrender, I'll basically just do it as a random, I'll, pay, I'll probably write some code to kind of scrape my YouTube comments page and kind of decide in a winner. Uh, what I'll do is probably... Yeah, um, just be a subscriber to my channel and just comment saying I'm in and you can basically pick whichever fragrances from this list that you want and you know, um, if you're in the UK I'll probably just send them to you, it won't be too much for postage but I'll see how much it costs to send them abroad and I'll kind of, you know, if it's cheap enough I'll probably just send them to you but otherwise I might just ask you to send me a couple of quid in PayPal to cover shipping costs. If that's not too cheeky of me, hope not. So yeah, you can pretty much select wherever you want from here. 
Um, I can't be asked to type them all up. You can basically select from that video. Right, back onto my smells. <laughs> so I'll carry my Davidoff here and I will go for um, Zeno. I have tried this one on my skin and it's very, very tobacco y. It came off as quite um, very masculine and manly. Very, like, kind of. I don't know. It kind of just it conjures an image of kind of being in a certain club and stuff. Oof, I can smell that from here. Oh wow, that's got a, that's got a very medicinal smell to it. Maybe cloves or something. Oh, or Vicks vapor rub. That's I think that's my comparison. Which would be menthol, I believe. So yeah, quite a very strong menthol fragrance off this. But yeah, it's quite nice. I'm not sure if this paper will kind of alter the fragrance at all. I mean, it's got a bit of lines through it, so maybe the color, the coloring might kind of play. I can't get a sentence out, right? Yeah, it's nice. I've, I've tried a few, like I said, and they all seem to have a very certain feel to them. I'm not sure, I found it very kind of hard to pick up notes, and it was just kind of this... I mean, most of them are 80s based fragrances, I believe, and yeah, it's just kind of... They're all kind of similar in this kind of old school vibe, you know. So I'll go for Ralph Lauren Polo now. I think this is a 7 mil. Quorum. <laughs> Yep, quorum. Straight away, just smell it from the bottle, you get a lot of pine. Um, I do have a kind of... Spill that everywhere. I do have a clone of this by a company called Asteria. Or Estiara. Oh, shit. <laughs> yep, imagine being in a forest, you know, you're just surrounded by pine trees, kind of, probably like autumn time, the kind of... The leaves are starting to fall off, and you're just surrounded by a lot of dead, like kind of dead, decaying branches around you. Yes, that's actually a very strong smell. Um, pretty sure it hasn't even wiped my hands with. <laughs> oh, this is a terrible video. <laughs> Yeah, I think this was the most expensive of the, out of them because I bought so many bottles to sell. I told me I could just pick one from wherever others he was selling. So I think I selected this, which is very Valentino. So yeah, I'm having proper trouble sort of controlling the amount of the thing onto spray. Oh, fuck, man. I'm having a lot of trouble actually controlling how much volume I'm using on these papers. So I might just put some on my skin now. Yeah, I'm not really sure how you meant to apply aftershave. Do you put it on your hands and wipe it? That's surprisingly calm. I think there's kind of a leather cord in there. It's. I'm not sure. Maybe maybe I'm putting enough on here. But that's quite surprisingly moderate. I thought it'd be um, a lot stronger than that. It's got a bit of a fresh opening to it. Maybe some kind of... Some kind of bergamot. That's actually really nice. Like I said in previous videos, I'm not sure what kind of smell I'm trying to find for myself. I think this seems quite well suited towards what I'm thinking of. Mm. Oh, that's oh. What was that? <laughs> I don't know, I just had a very familiar smell then. I think it might have been Armani Code and a bit of um, anise. anise. Yeah, that's developed in a while. Mm. Yeah, I'm getting a very Armani Code vibe from this, you know? Wow. Something just really started to push through there. That's beautiful. Um, let's see. Go for Givenchy Gentleman. So, 
I think this is considered a bit of a classic, to be honest. Um, people often go on about it. It's probably not the most... Um, I don't know. I think it might have that civet or civet. Yeah, the civet note. Yeah, it's actually nice. Oh. <laughs> mm. <laughs> wow, I uh, don't really know what to say. It started off a bit calm and then it just got very loud and it seems quite aggressive in terms of... I'm not sure if that's that civet, you know, the kind of cat piss note. Not really getting a very urinal note, but probably very animalistic. Kind of makes me think of maybe Aramis or kind of maybe, maybe Kuros. Yeah, it's hard to say. Yeah, I'm not repulsed by it, you know, it's interesting. The thing is, you see, with all these, you know, it's too many, I mean, they're such small volumes, and just because the aftershave format, I can't see myself weighing them. I've got, like, probably two to three times the amount of bottles here in proper 100ml sprays or 50ml sprays. So it'll be like, I don't know, it kind of seems like effort or... Not effort, but just I can't really see myself wearing these over sprays. <laughs> but that gentleman, Givenchy gentleman, is wow, it's quite nice. It's got a very animalistic smell, it's very, very masculine. Uh, I'm going to go for, for Yope, is it? So I've worn Yope, the current formulation, once or twice. I've mentioned always in my videos that me and a co-worker go to a local um, like Boots, which is a sort of a pharmacy kind of thing that sells uh, fragrances. And one time I kind of sprayed on York, I went back to the office after chucking like six sprays on, not realizing how strong it was and how extremely cloying it was. <laughs> and I remember just sitting in the office, just kind of stinking out the whole place, good like four foot around me. But yeah, that's got a very, very kind of cherry, fruity kind of vibe to it. Very sweet. There's some um, syrupy kind of reminds me of syrup. That's actually decent, for, you know. I'm not really sure how, like, how much these do project. I mean, they are all saying they are EDTs. I think that's what that's what misled me when I bought them as well. I thought they were sprays because they said they're EDTs, but no. Nope. Yeah, it's very um, easy going, kind of casual, playful scent. I just took a sniff of this very Valentino. Wow. Yeah, that's lovely, but I don't. Know. Like. I kind of, literally that's where I'm kind of smelling the fragrance coming from. Like going back to this pole on a... Okay, I can smell it here. So yeah, maybe a, just under a foot away and it's not really wafted very hard and kind of strong into my face. So yeah, I think they're kind of weak in terms of projection, which is probably why I'm never going to wear them as well. So... I'll put another one on just for a laugh, see what we want. Um, I can't remember, either this Fendi, this Roma, or my Minato are quite highly rated. I think it's these two smell similar. Oh. But I'll try the Minato now. I've also worn this tobacco one and it literally smells like, makes me think of a child being in the 90s and kind of smelling an unlit cigarette. Um, it kind of smells different to how it does nowadays. But yeah, just a very kind of a dry, crisp kind of tobacco smell. The cheap kind of shit my dad used to smoke. I 
things a bit of citrus in there. It feels, it feels a bit fresh, but no, it's very faint. Um, I Ah, uh, yeah, don't, don't do it. <coughs> you want alcohol? You got it. Yeah, I don't know if you see my arm here. It's a bit, um, bit cut. Yeah, there's something there beyond the alcohol. This is actually burning my skin a bit now. I can't really distinguish anything. So yeah, I kind of hoped this video would go a bit better than it did. I really can't even bother to kind of go into all these now. Um, yeah, overall it's a bit sort of... Not too happy that I bought these, to be honest, you know, it's money I could have spent on other stuff. And so, yeah, whatever. So if you want um, to enter the kind of raffle to basically pick any, any five of these that you like, then just, as I said, comment below with the words, I'm in, and I'll write some kind of script to kind of parse, out, parse my HTML from the page and just kind of, yeah, do whatever. So I'll announce the video, and I'll uh, announce the winner in a week's time, and I'll also share the code that done it so you can see how it was, um, how it was decided. So thanks again it's reach, for reaching 50 subscribers with me, it's been brilliant. Um, it's good to see my videos getting viewed and stuff, so that's always kind of a bit of a motivation for me to keep going and to post new content. Uh, I've got things in mind about how I'd like to, um, of stuff I want to add to the channel. So I'm thinking of kind of doing a few like just fragrance talks as opposed to doing specific reviews. Just having general discussions about scents and just the whole the whole world of scent, I guess. You know, something I'm kind of very interested in and I'd like to share that with you guys. So thanks again and sorry for this video, but um, yeah, maybe it's been some news to you, you know, you've got to see some old bottles that you may not have seen in a while. So yep, thank you very much and take care.